Hello everyone, today I want to show you my task boxes for preschool. You can use these boxes to target basic skills for early learners, preschoolers, kindergartners, and even special needs students seem to thrive on these boxes because children just love putting things into slots, dropping things into boxes, and not only do these target basic skills, but they also help children with hand-eye coordination and fine motor skills. So let's get started and I'll show you each box and what basic skills it targets. This first box over here targets visual discrimination. Visual discrimination is a crucial skill for children to learn because it helps them in all content areas such as literacy, math, and writing. A child who's good at matching, for example, will likely not have problems with letter reversals or with number recognition such as mixing numbers like nine and six and so it's really important for many many reasons to master visual discrimination and matching skills so here i have some stickers that i place on top of this box and as you can see these stickers are very similar in nature so you have to look at the details of the faces as you can see this little this little happy face has glasses and so does this one you have to look closely these are both smiling you have to look closely at the eyes to be able to match accordingly and so the child over here I, I made some slots on the on the box here with some little scissors and a box cutter these little scissors right here um, and then I did place some clear tape on top just to protect the sticker so that the child does not peel them off I went ahead and I got some foam paper and I put the stickers on top of the foam paper and then I put some clear tape on top too also um, make it more durable so that the child does not um, peel the sticker off and the child has to look very carefully at all of these and be able to match um, so this is also good for concentration skills as the child really has to focus on those details and go on and on sorting all of these um, little happy faces okay so this next tax box um, is sorting by long, medium, and short, working with some straws. Um, I have made some openings here on this shoe box. Again, you can get these shoe boxes at arts and craft stores, such as Michael's Arts and Craft Stores, AC Moore's, and so on. Um, a lot of times they have specials on these boxes, and you can get them very, very cheaply. So, here I have some straws, and the child is basically just sorting. Long. medium very important concept to know for mathematics and small short long medium and short so that goes on and on sorting all of the straws this next box is a number sorting box and this is for number recognition I have a shoe box and I have made some openings, wrote numbers 1 through 10 on the box. Over here I have some, some wooden stars that I got at Michael's Arts and Crafts store. And I took a permanent marker and I wrote numbers 1 through 10 on both sides. This child is simply going to sort these stars into the box. 10, 10, 3, 3, 2. Child goes on and on sorting until they have finished sorting all of the stars. This next box is a color sorting box um, so that the child practices color recognition. Here I have these bottle caps that I got in eBay um, very inexpensively. I'll try to find the link and link it below in the description box. I have glued them onto the box, made some slots. Then the child simply just sorts yellow, yellow, pink, pink white white and I have purposely made these slots a little bit small so that the child really has to focus on pushing it through and work on those little hands the fine motor skills the pincer grasp this next box is also targeting color recognition and here I have a box and I have taken crayons and colored them in um, to represent the different colors I have also made slots 
with the box cutter and I have made them diagonal and horizontal to work on those um, skills of wrist rotation for kids. Simply they will take these popsicle sticks and place them on top of the box according to color. And um, this has been a, a true favorite here in our home. We have used it with all of our children. They absolutely love this box. Um, and if they can pick one box out of all of these boxes, it's probably going to be this one. They just love putting these little sticks in here. So, fu so fun for them. Um, so the child goes on and on sorting all of the sticks until they have finished um, all of the sticks. This next box is targeting visual discrimination skills again. As you can see, a lot of these sports balls look very similar, like these two, these two, these two, these two. And so the child really has to clo look closely for those details. Um, I went ahead and I, these are actually foam stickers that I got at Michael's Arts and Crafts. So I put them on here at the top of the box. Then I place some clear tape on top so that the child doesn't peel it off. I put the um, stickers on top of foam and then I put some tape on top of it so that the child doesn't peel it off and so that it lasts a long time. Um, again, the child is just doing matching over here. And... This is great visual discrimination activity as the child really has to look closely um, and match these balls appropriately. Okay. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Now I want to share with you how to store all of the boxes in one box so that you don't have to take up a lot of room into your closets. So I just simply take the top of the box because each top can fit into one box. Um, and I place them inside of the one box just like this. I don't need the bottom of each of these boxes because the bottom of one box fits on all of these. So I just simply lay them like this so that it can store nicely. Whenever I wanna have an activity ready to go for kids, I just pick one of these tops and then I store all of the manipulatives in these little baggies, put them here on the side and I have activities ready to go. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. For more videos like this, please subscribe, click on the notification bell, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram so that you never miss a video. Until the next time, bye-bye.